Hey folks, you know we recently purchased a new GPS for our RV. You know it's one of those ones where you can program it, you put in all your your height, your length, your weights and everything and it directs you around all the hazards you should miss. Uh, a lot of RVers and truckers use these. Keeps you out of tunnels and uh, bridges and stuff like that that you don't fit across or maybe you're too heavy for. They're pretty neat, you know, but uh, I don't know about the rest of you men out there, but uh, I like to argue with mine a little bit. I don't know if it's because it's my inner Davy Crockett or Daniel Boone, but uh, sometimes I always think this thing, it can't know where it's going. So I just kind of like to strike out on my own and maybe find my own course, you know. Uh, you know, I'm quite sure when uh, Lewis and Clark were out exploring the great northwest, they had to look at Sacagawea once in a while and say, man, that gal just can't know where she's going you know where is she taking us so uh i don't know maybe it's just me but uh this morning i thought i knew the back roads of alabama a lot better than the gps did so i took off down a couple of back roads trying to get to where we was headed and uh let's just say after uh, dodging a few trees and some power lines that may or may not still be there and and having to rub butter on the side of my rig to get through a tunnel, I was kind of glad to get back to the main road where the GPS would had originally told me to go. Uh, my own personal Sacagawea sitting in the co-pilot's chair, she, let's just say she wasn't none too pleased. She was uh, not very happy with me, you know. She, uh, she kind of likes to follow the GPS a little more than what I do. Anyway, after that little exploration, uh, I was just kind of glad that I had a GPS to listen to for the next 100, 150 miles because that was the only female voice I heard in there. Oh yeah, a female voice. You ever notice they usually put a female voice on one of these things? I think it's because uh, most of us men are usually programmed to listening to what a female voice tells us what to do instead of a, a male voice. So anyway, that's my story for the GPS. So uh, I'll just... Uh, uh, let me have any uh, comments and ideas you had on uh, following your GPS or how your GPS works and if it ever takes you down the road where it's not supposed to go. And like I say, leave me a few comments in the comment section down there. So maybe guys, let's, let me say something. Maybe it's a good idea if we listen to our wives and our GPS to a little bit better. I know it pains me to say that, but sometimes both of them know where we're going a little bit better than what we do so maybe I ought to listen up <laughs>